Um, good evening, it's great to see you. I'm delighted to be back in Tokyo. As some of you know, I served in Tokyo uh, about a decade ago. Um, and of course, I had a chance to work very closely with our Japanese colleagues in the six party talks. So I'm delighted to be back for some deep consultations with our Japanese colleagues in my new capacity as special representative for North Korea policy. We had a very productive discussion with Director General Ihara. Also had a chance to pay a courtesy call on Vice Foreign Minister Saiki. Um, and I expect that we will continue to have very close coordination and communication on all aspects of our North Korea policy with our Japanese colleagues. We'll take some questions. Yes. Um, the, in the United Nations, uh, North Korean human rights issues will be added uh, to the agenda of Security Council. And North Korea has denounced that kind of moves and um, threatening nuclear, another nuclear test. So what would you say to North Koreans? And um, I'm wondering whether the uh, United States uh, think that North Korean human rights issues should be referred to ICC. Well, instead of denouncing the international community's efforts on the North Korean human rights situation, I think the North Korean regime needs to spend more time worried about human rights situation, improving the human rights situation for North Korean citizens. Uh, North Korea continues to have one of the worst uh, human rights situations. Um, and I think the fact that the, the DPRK human rights resolution passed so decisively it's a clear reflection of the international community's concerns about the human rights situation in North Korea. And we look forward to cooperating with Japan and other partners um, in the international community to bring attention to this very important issue. Um, as a U.S. representative for North Korea policy, how are you going to combine these two issues, human rights issues and nuclear issues? Well, we're going to continue to make a very strong effort on both. Um, North Korea is committed to denuclearization in the six party talks. They are under various international obligation commitments to cease their nuclear activities. And we're going to work with our six party partners um, to make sure that North Koreans live up to their commitments and obligations. Uh, we also want to work with the international community to try to improve the human rights situation in North Korea. Uh, as I said, the human rights resolution in, in the United Nations is a clear reflection of our concerns, our very serious concerns about the situation in North Korea. Um, I have a question to you as um, Deputy as Assistant Secretary for Japan, South Korea. Mm -hmm. and, um, how do you say about the current standoff between two your two allies, and um, especially I'm wondering um, how are you evaluating about the Japanese government's efforts about the comfort women issues? Well, as we've said many times, Japan and Korea are two of our closest allies and two of our closest friends. Um, good relations among the three of us, good relations between Japan and Korea, are not only in the interest of Japan and Korea, but it's also in the interest of the United States. So we would like to see our two close friends um, continue to have constructive relations. With regards to the comfort women issue, we know that this is a very difficult and painful issue uh, between um, our two friends. Uh, we know that uh, both governments are making an effort, and we hope that uh, there would be some progress on this issue sometime soon. What kind of discussion did you have uh, about the Japanese issue today? Um, Ambassador Ihara um, gave me a sense of where his efforts with the North Koreans stand uh, on the abductee issue. As you know, we continue to support Japan's efforts on this very important humanitarian issue, uh, and we hope that the North Koreans will cooperate and make some progress on, on this issue. Um, you know, we appreciate uh, that the Japanese government has kept us informed uh, of their efforts with the North Koreans. We do believe that close communication on all aspects of our efforts with the North Koreans is important. Ambassador Kim, it's been reported in Russia that uh, North Korea said that they are ready to go back to the six-party talks. And, but what are the conditions for U.S. government to go back to the six-party talks? But given what has happened uh, with this issue over the past few years, uh, it's not surprising uh, that we want to see some clear signal or demonstration of commitment from the North Koreans to 
denuclearization before we rush back to any negotiations. I've seen the press reporting on the, on the discussions in Moscow, but frankly, that does not give us much confidence that North Koreans are in fact ready to make a serious commitment, a serious effort um, towards denuclearization. And I think until we see some demonstration uh, of their commitment to denuclearization, uh, it's difficult for us to return to negotiations. Could you elaborate what are these special commitments? Well, I don't, you know, I don't want to go into too much detail here, but I think the North Koreans understand what our expectation is. In fact, it's not just the U.S. expectation, uh, but there continues to be a very strong five-party consensus on what we should ask for, what we should expect before the resumption of serious negotiations. Look, I mean, we are very much open to diplomacy. Uh, we would like to make a real effort towards the inquisition. But it's hard to do so unless the North Koreans are ready to work with us. And that's what we're waiting to see from the North Koreans. Do you, uh, do you have any will? Uh, do you want, would you like to see some, uh, some of the families whose, uh, member, whose family members are directed by North Korea during your stay in Japan? Um, for scheduling reasons, we could not arrange a meeting with the Families Association uh, this time, but I look forward to meeting them on my next trip. Um, but I will be seeing Mr. Mitani in the Cabinet Office, who, as you know, is coordinating the Japanese government's efforts on this important issue. All right. Thank you very much.